Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up a sec. YouTube is telling me that 79.1% of you that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. What type of sorcery is this? Drag that Stuart little looking ass across the screen and hit the subscribe button. Take care. See you in the video. Hello there. You guys really seem to have enjoyed my Monty Python and the Life of Brian. No, Monty Python and the Holy Grail reaction. My first time watching to that film. Today, we are doing the follow-up, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be watching Monty Python and the Life of Brian for the first time. A lot of you in the comments of the first reaction said that this one is actually funnier than the first film. And that makes me hella excited because the first one made me laugh my ass off. It was absolutely hilarious. So what's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 23-year-old law and film shit here from sydney australia shitty is shot baby and today like the title says we are going to be watching monty python and the life of brian for the first time i love going into films knowing absolutely nothing and having seen no footage and this is the scenario with this film i know absolutely nothing but the short little description here on netflix that says born in a stable in judea brian grows up to join a group of anti-roman zealots but his fate keeps getting confused with that of a certain carpenter and I think I know what track this film is going to take. And I think it's going to be hilarious. So yeah, let's get into this reaction. Let's have some fun with this thing. You guys, get your popcorn. Make sure you're ready for a long reaction or a fun reaction. I don't know how long it's going to be, but yeah, let's smash this thing. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Also, my boys Arsenal got the dub last night. First game of the Premier League. And my girls, the Matildas, my Aussie girls. Let's go. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Um, I know you like you have like the star of David right there, but that was a beautiful transition. I know we're only 10 seconds in, but you sort of had the night sky right there, and it sort of fades in with the three wise men, um, with sort of like the sun set in the background going into um Jerusalem uh, Be Bethlehem, I believe. But um, yeah, that was an amazing sort of fade in. Like I was just like, damn, that surprised me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have upgraded. We are now riding animals. Let's go. We have up the budget increase. <laughs> Except that is the most like a crossover between a camel and a sheep. Are you? We are three wise men. What? We are three wise men. Well, what are you doing creeping around a cow shed at two o'clock in the morning? That doesn't sound very wise to me. Did this guy voice the knee? Because this guy sounds exactly like the knee. <laughs> Did he voice the tribe of knee? He sounds exactly. <laughs> We are astrologers. We have come from the east. Gold, frankincense, myrrh. Well, why didn't you say he's over there? Probably <laughs> the place is a bit of a mess. Money talks. <laughs> well, what is myrrh anyway? It is a valuable bomb. Well, what is he then? Hmm? What star sign is he? <laughs> Capricorn. Are you astrologers, are you? What are they like? What are they like? He is the son of God, our Messiah, <laughs> king of the Jews. That's Capricorn, is it? Uh, no, 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 that's just him. <laughs> oh, Far I out. Say, otherwise there'd be a lot of them. By what name are you calling him? Uh, Brian! We worship you, O Brian, who are Lord over us all. Shut up! <laughs> that is... <laughs> On the subtitles, it said that was a gunshot. My guy got sniped out of the... you you know, it's the accents in the time period that just make it hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, we're like, uh, I think we're in like, uh, well, we're like, what are we at the moment? We're like, uh, like 2 BC at the moment? Or like, I I'm not sure how old Jesus is in this, but he's like, he looks like he's 30, so need death, um, need that time period. But like, it's like the accents in the time period. It's just absolutely hilarious. Like, that's funnier than anything that could happen. Like, it's just the people talking. It doesn't matter what they say. It's just hilarious. You're not going to be three foot wide across your face, <laughs> but I'm a beast for you. <laughs> Shh. Well, who is it yours then? Goliath, big brother. Oh, right. 
That's your last warning. Uh, you pipe down. Oh, how many warnings? <laughs> Yo, she filmed that pretty well. She's fighting back. Like, <laughs> can confirm that woman does not have a glass jaw. Yo, that's a strong woman carrying a donkey. <laughs> oh, not like these, sir. Look at this. Feel the quality of that. That's craftsmanship, sir. Uh, oh, we'll have uh, two weak points and a big flat one. Can I have a flat one, <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Matthias, son of Deuteronomy of Gath. Well, I say yes. 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 You have been found <laughs> guilty by the elders of the town of uttering the name of our Lord. A piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. Blasphemy! Oh, 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 he oh. said it again. <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he tall. <laughs> Are there any women here today? <laughs> everyone, everyone has, everyone has C cups. <laughs> Very well. By virtue of the authority vested in me. <laughs> no, we haven't started yet. Come on. Who threw that? <laughs> Who threw that stone? Come on. We started. Go to the back. Oh, dear. Oh, one, isn't there? Oh, you he's standing on a stone. Right. Who threw that? Was it you? Yes. Right. Well, you did say Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> They do say <laughs> <laughs> They should just say the word that shall not be named, like Voldemort. <laughs> you know what these th these films do well? Like I know I'm only like not even a quarter into the second one, but like they drag a joke on for an entire scene, but they make it work. Like, the, 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 the joke doesn't overstay its welcome. Like, for instance, the big nose joke. At first, I was just like, okay, it's a big nose joke. But, like, the more it dragged on, the funnier it got. And, like, right there with the stoning um, scene right there, like, I was like, okay, it's a stoning. But, like, even the guy that was getting stoned was, like, sort of shocked that he was getting stoned. Like, his reaction to, like, the accusations. And, like, everyone else, um, even if they repeated, like, the same sort of shtick, like, twice in terms of, like, the him, 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 or someone getting caught out saying Je Jehovah, it was still funny. Like, they they maintain um, the comedy really well. Your father isn't Mr. Cohen. I never thought he was. No, none of your cheek. He was a Roman, Brian. He was a centurion in the Roman army. You mean you were raped? Oh, at first, yes. Who was it? Uh, Nautius Maximus, his name. Oh, no, Nautius. <laughs> Promise me the known world, he did. <laughs> I want to be taken to Rome, passed by the form, slaves, asses me. Well, how are you then, officer? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Sex, 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 that's all they think about us. Well, how are you then, officer? Whoa! Just got down on her knees. Oh, I, that was implying. I, uh, I don't want to think about it. Oh, a full house at the Coliseum today. <laughs> Wait, to rid himself or herself or herself <laughs> or sister or sister <laughs> where was i why are you always on about women stan i want to be one <laughs> this film was what? ahead of its time <laughs> i want to be a woman from now on i want you all to call me loretta what it's my right as a man <laughs> why do you want to be loretta stan I want to have babies. Where's the fetus gonna just take? You're gonna keep it in a box? <laughs> Whole yeah, life plan no just idea. got derailed. Suppose you agree that he can't actually have babies, not having a womb, which is nobody's fault, not even the Romans, but that he can have the right to have babies. Good idea, Judith. 
We shall fight the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister. Right. What's the point? <laughs> what? What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. Right. What are the odds this feel? That's actually a crazy segment right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the Judean people's front? Fuck off! <laughs> Judean people's front. The people's front of Judea. Oh my god! Judean gosh. people's front. Oh, <laughs> wanker. <laughs> right, you're in. Listen, <laughs> the only people we ate more than the Romans are the fucking Judean people's front. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> the Judean popular people's front. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And the people's front of Judea. Yes. Yes. The That's people's us. front of Judea. Splitters. We are the people's front of Judea. <laughs> oh. I thought we were the popular front. People's front. See, I told you, they'll drag you out the, the same front. joke, but it worked. He's over there. Hey, this guy just worked on his cardio, and it's oh, working. What? I think I'm about to have a cardiac arrest. Hey, yeah, tossers. Gossip, the Thomas takes me. The locker did not. The Stop him. Dom. Full on English lesson here. Understand? Yes, sir. Now, right Language session, time. sorry. Yes, sir. Hail Caesar! If it's not done by sunrise, I'll cut your balls off. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hail Caesar and everything, sir. Oh. Now, don't do it again. <laughs> Look at his artwork. Look at his masterpiece. <laughs> One of us here who would not gladly suffer death to rid this country of the Romans once and for all. Uh, well, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's one. But otherwise, we're solid. Are you with us? <laughs> yes. I love how the attire. From now on, you the... shall be called Brian, and that is called Brian. Like, all their attire is like, uh, like dark and, uh, or have, have a shade of black, and then Brian juxtaposes that completely with his sort of like white um robes right there i guess he's meant to be like their savior that's why he's wearing the white and makes it look like as is as if he's like this angelic figure for these people and he's going to be the leader of the movement right hey yo <laughs> what's she playing with what's she playing with <laughs> is that meant to be like Calling him a dickhead, right? <laughs> Nob. <laughs> What's your group doing? We're gonna kidnap Pilate's wife, take her back, is your demand. So are we. What? That's our plan. We were here first. What do you mean? We thought of it first. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Okay, oh, come on. You got all your demands worked, aren't you? Of course we have. What are they? Well, I'm not telling you all. Oh, God. Oh, the other one. That's not the we've been planning this for months. What tough titty for you, fish face? Oh, oh. <laughs> The eye poke. He's selling it. VAR, VAR, red card. We are. Oh. We mustn't fight each other. Surely we should be united against the common enemy. The Judean people's front. No, no, the Romans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> they all took <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, Brian, last man standing. Oh, sometimes I'm awake at night dreaming of being spat at in a face. Well, it's Me? not exactly friendly, is it? They have me in manacles. <laughs> manacles! Nice one, like it, like it. Shut up! I wonder if Brian is gonna pull the Roman card just as it's about to be crucified. <laughs> <laughs> he starts speaking in his same like tone of voice. Now, Jewish rapscallion, 
I'm not Jewish, I'm a Roman. There a we Roman? go. No, no, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> no. The way he flays himself around. Who was he? He was a centurion in the Jerusalem garrisons. Like uh, City of Sodus or Biggest Digger, sir. <laughs> Funny about Biggest Dickers. What well, is a joke name, sir? Biggest Dickers? <laughs> Richard Biggest Dickers hears of this. Wait! <laughs> Take him away! Oh, sir, he's... No, no, I was him fighting rabid wild animals within a week, yes, sir. Biggest Dickers. <laughs> <laughs> Like a little giggle when I mention my friend Dickus. Dickus. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Do you find it visible? Visible? <laughs> Will I say the name? Stay strong, my friend. Dickus. Dickus. Alright, I survived that one. I survived that one. I survived. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's coming around to me, pilot? And I'm just like... He has a wife, you know? No, no. You know what she's called? <laughs> don't do it. She's called... I don't want to look at the subtitles first. Incontinentia. Up. What? Incontinentia buttocks. Stop! What's all this? Where are you, Wevels? Look at him behavior. Silence! Call him from the Praetorian Guards. Seize him! Seize him! Hey, you can see the actor right there that's playing Butchers. I saw the little smirk in his face right there. I think he kind of broke character. <laughs> I wonder how much of that was like improvised or like, yeah, just like this. Actually, like the director telling the actors themselves, okay, try and hold your laughter. Like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> this film is actually really well shot as well. Like, even um, the Holy Grail is really well shot. For the budget they had, they utilized the camera really well to get the most out of what they needed to. What? That was an unexpected crossover right there. <laughs> oh, we going to space? Don't tell me he's going to visit God or something. <laughs> Talk about subverting expectations. <laughs> he comes out unscathed. <laughs> oh, you lucky bastard. I thought he might have landed on like uh, alternate Earth right there, but I think they just crash landed back on Earth. Be now ended in the minutes as probationary martyrs to the cause. Second message. <laughs> Thank you, Loretta. On the nod. Let us not be downhearted. One total catastrophe like this <laughs> is just the beginning. Catastrophe. Their glorious deaths shall unite us all. In a Look out. <laughs> Crucifixion. Oh. <laughs> Nasty, eh? Could be worse. <laughs> what do you mean, could be worse? You need to oh, up your game. <laughs> could be stabbed. Stabbed? Takes a second. Crucifixion lasts hours. It's a slow, horrible death. Well, at least it gets you out in the open air. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> You've not seen the last of us, weirdo. Big nose. Watch it. <laughs> like, these older films in general, there's such an emphasis on fantastic long takes where they will allow the scene to drag out and let the actors do their thing. They'll let it play out. And it's just fantastic to watch. Like, right there, 
it was one take in terms of like the guards going in to search the house and you had the general um and matthias right there talking and the camera held on them as they were talking and then in one scene right there the guards um in one take sorry it continued as the guards came out um there could have been lots of cutaways right there but they decided to hold the camera let the general and matthias play out their sort of comedic scene right there with sort of like different modes of eye contact from matthias talking about you know um how crucifixion is not as bad as getting stabbed you know um and then the guards came out and it was one fluent um long take right there and it was a simple just holding um sort of fantastic medium shot right there but um throughout this film there's been some fantastic one take scenes where they will let the scene and joke play out as one as the camera holds and actors will deliver their lines in one go and then you're trying to pay attention to other actors in the scene um or actresses and that might get you to laugh as well because you will look at their reactions and everyone has different reactions in the one scene and it's a testament to the fantastic acting and directing in this and um yeah it's absolutely great to watch and these older films and classical films i've been watching recently on the channel i love their emphasis on long wide take scenes um in terms of like letting the scene play out let their actors do their thing and yeah i, I i'm just such a big fan of that and the show I've been watching recently on the channel, Breaking Bad, and Star Trek as well, they tend to have an emphasis on this as well. And that's why I love them a lot as well. When you let the scene play out, um, let the camera work. Um, or like It will be like, for instance, Breaking Bad um, does a fantastic job at placing the camera in a certain position. Um, and it's a great testament as well to... The filmmakers, the production crew, understanding their location, um, being aware of where to place the camera, and then they'll let the actors do their thing while holding the camera there, and there's no need to cut away multiple times. And I love that. I love that. <sighs> that was lucky. <laughs> what a search. They could Sorry, not find him at all. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Lindsay. Sorry. You cut. You stupid. Bird you cut! <laughs> oh, the scaffolding Bye, continues to break That's each time, and I feel like Brian's gonna yes. fall off. There's one place we didn't look. <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone crucified? Crucifixion's a doddle. <laughs> it's the same conversation. Yeah, and it's sped up this time. <laughs> we'll be back on wall. I feel like, yeah, each time, the third time, the scaffolding's gonna collapse. As Brian goes outside. Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> he's given us a sign. Oh, he's given us a show. A show is the sign. Let us follow his example. What? Let us, like him, hold up one shoe and let the other be upon our foot. For this is his sign that all who follow him shall do likewise. Yes. Oh no, my no, God! Is sign, <laughs> we must gather shoes together in abundance. Cast off the what? shoes. Let us back. Yea, he cometh to us like the seed of the grave. See, right there, that scene was an example of what I was just talking about in terms of holding the camera steady and letting the scene play out. You know, right there, you had the camera sort of angled up on the ground level um from the shoe and the shoe was out of focus as you had this sort of beautiful wide shot capturing everyone in the crowd or sort of like the front of the crowd the shoe was out of focus um in the foreground of the scene um right at the front and then it racked focus on the crowd and it held the camera right there and let everyone argue you know trying to decide which sign to believe what the sign means which way should we follow which path should we take and then yeah inevitably you get what happened <laughs> Brian's unintentionally <laughs> gathered this mass following. <laughs> speak, speak to us, master. Speak to us. Go away. How shall we go away, master? Oh, just go away. Leave me alone. Didn't bring you here. You just followed me. Oh, it's still a good sign. 
mine by any standard. I love the range the actors and actresses display in this film. Playing different characters. Have not eaten. It's not my fault they haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I brought forth juniper berries. First, you didn't heal me. I didn't touch him. I went blind. Now I can see. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 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 Only the true Messiah denies his divinity. Oh, what? my God. What sort of chance does that give me? <laughs> All right, I am the Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't win. <laughs> now, fuck off. <laughs> No, don't tell me they're going to slowly spin this. How are they going to spin this one? How shall we fuck off, oh lord? <laughs> oh, go away, leave me alone. You told these people to eat my juniper berries. <laughs> you make my bloody foot, you make my vow of silence, and then you try and clean up my juniper berries. <laughs> lay off. This is the Messiah, the chosen one. No, he's not. <laughs> An unbeliever. Persecute, <laughs> <laughs> kill, heretic. Yo, Brian getting... Brian! I'm not sure if that's meant to be, like, a nod, because, like, I've heard stories from my grandpa, like, I don't know, like, there's stories that Jesus... Like, obviously, I don't believe them, but Jesus had slept with, I think, was it Mary Magdalene, or slept with someone in the Bible, or, like, it wasn't in the Bible, but, like, there's stories that been left out, but, like, oh, I don't believe them, but I'm not, I'm not sure if this is, like, meant to be a nod to that. Um, or it's just meant to be that Brian just has a love life right here. Um, but I'm, I'm sure this film is like a satirical take on the Bible and, um, people choosing to believe what they want to believe in and various sort of interpretations of different things that have been said in the past and history, um, and things like that. Um, but I'm not sure if this is meant to be like sort of a take on that. I, I know this film's nature is completely lighthearted and making um, fun of things so like i really don't care to film in the end of the day um but I, I i wonder if that's sort of like meant to be a nod to those sort of like not accusation but that that, that sort of like sort of um tale and history that's been around uh, I, i'm not sure <laughs> no it is the <laughs> Hey, the fame got to the mother's head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, is it? <laughs> then you can see him for one minute, but not one second more. Do you understand? Yes. Promise? Well, <laughs> Everyone's in sync, oh, man. Come on, Brian, come and talk to them. But Mum, do this. Now, leave that Welsh tart alone. Wow. <laughs> Reg is all talk, no action. <laughs> Hello. Another little ego trip from the feminists. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, Loretta. Uh, I'll read that back. Oh, yeah, I forgot Loretta identifies. <laughs> hey, they do a great job at um, calling back the jokes as well, like previous jokes and sort of like establishing them earlier on and then having like another payoff later. They never let it slide. Yes, good. Out of the door, line on the left, one cross each. Next. Uh, I know we still got 20 minutes to go, but unless this last 20 minutes really blows my mind with laughter, um, I still think The Holy Grail is better than this film. I think The Holy Grail was funnier. Um, I'm not going to lie, this one is still funny, but I think The Holy Grail is better, in my opinion, so far. Jolly good, well, 
off you go then. <laughs> nah, man, you're pulling your leg. It's crucifixion, really. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> he had it in the bag. Well, out of the door. Yeah, I know the way. Out the door, one and cross each, line on the left. Line on the left. <laughs> <laughs> crucifixion? Yes. Good. To release a wanderer from our prison. Prison. <laughs> Everything with a W. <laughs> <laughs> Will he <swore> Roger? <laughs> Will he swore ya? Uh, sir, uh, we don't have a Roger, sir. <laughs> uh, we don't have anyone all that name, sir. Ah, we have no Roger. Oh. <laughs> but what about Wadwick, then? Yeah! Wadwick rules. Shout out to every whippy kid. He's holding his laugh. Do you have anyone in our prisons at all? Oh, yes, sir. We've got a Samson, sir. Samson? Samson, the Sadducee Strangler, sir. Uh, Silas, the Syrian Assassin. Uh, several seditious scribes from Caesarea. Good idea, Biggest. <laughs> oh, Biggest, it's we laid by Brian. Sadducee Strangler. Silas, the Assyrian Assassin. Temple for this of Clyde and Caesarea. Ninety. Ninety. Ninety-six, sir. No. It's such a senseless waste of human life, isn't it? No, sir. No, not with these. Bastards, sir. <laughs> 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 he was about to say ninety-four or five. And my guy said six. You can say it's too good for them. It's just ninety. Uh, ninety. Ninety. Uh, no. Ninety. No. 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 Not as nasty as something I just bought up, sir. Lucky, jammy, <laughs> jammy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Uh, it, it's not my crop. Shut up! Get on with it. <laughs> no. 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 Oh come on. Yes, sir. Anyway, get on with the story. Well, I initially never really liked them, so I thought <laughs> Right, the motion to get on with it passed with a one abstention. I now propose that we go without further ado. May I have a second, Let's therefore? Just go. Yeah. Hands up, all those who don't want to be crucified here. Hands up, really? Really? Uh, really? Next! Uh, Vandy, little bugger, I've up and down like the Assyrian Empire. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you think, how many times has he been up there? <laughs> Hello, your family arrived then. On the hands of the Roman imperialist aggressors, excluding those concerned with drainage, medicine, roads, housing, education, <laughs> viniculture, and any other Romans contributing to the welfare of Jews of both sexes and hermaphrodites. Signed on behalf of the PFJ, etc. For he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, man. For he's a jolly good fellow. 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 For he's a I'm Brian of Nazareth. No, because you're speaking yeah, up. I, I'm Brian of Nazareth. Take him down. I'm Brian of Nazareth. Who's Brian? I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Brian. I'm Brian and so's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Brian. I was out. Was <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg. It's a joke. I'm not him. I'm just having you on. We are to be on people's front. Crack no. Suicide Squad! No! Suicide, suicide Squad! squad. The deck! No. No, not the Nazi civilist. <laughs> suicide. That showed them hurt. <laughs> you silly sod. Before you draw your terminal breath. <laughs> no. Why is that catchy? <laughs> He's adding ad libs. Incidentally, this record is available in the foyer. <laughs> They'll never make that money back. Did the first film actually make money or didn't? It must have made money for them to do a sequel, surely. 
Um, and it must have caught everyone by surprise and really done well. But yeah, um, I think the life of Brian was decent. It was decent. It, it's not as good as the Holy Grail, in my opinion. I feel like the Holy Grail is much better. Much, much better, in my opinion. Some of you guys might like um, the life of Brian better, but I feel like the Holy Grail is better. I feel like the li uh, the Holy Grail maintained its comedy throughout. I feel like there were segments through this um, that were kind of like low moments in terms of like the comedy where it didn't land for me per se. Maybe for you guys it does land, but for me, I feel like it's a decent film. Is it just as good as the Holy Grail? I don't think so. I feel like it's a step below, but it is still a fun watch. I think earlier on, the jokes were really good. And towards the end, it was a, it was okay. It was okay. But the energy was there. Like, I really enjoy the energy of these films. I really enjoy the range with the actors and actresses. I feel like they would have had a blast making these films. The, these two films. In terms of, like, having the ability to play multiple characters. And just show your range in acting. And just have a blast with it. So, yeah. I hope you guys had a blast with the reaction as well. As always, been your boy Lee Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.